Clayton here of Springfield Leather. Kevin and Rusty have asked me to help introduce our new line of Orion Calf dies. These are very special products that are specifically made for dyeing crust leathers, which are tan but unfinished leathers that will accept dye. What's cool about this is you can get a gator skin. You know, you don't want to buy a whole gator skin that's all black and only be able to make black products. You might want to be able to make a blue wallet here and there or do some custom coloring. These are really neat products. They're like I said, wax dyes, wax pigments, which allows you to mix colors and make new colors on the project as well as in the bowl. Uh, they're really great for blending and getting new effects. Uh, also because of their wax content, once they dry, you're able to buff them to a high gloss and it's just beautiful. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've been doing with it here today. Just give you a very basic understanding of kind of how they work and what you can do with them. I've got a few mixing bowls in front of me with our yellow dye wax, blue dye wax, red dye wax with the white as well. Now I'm going to mix in a little bit of white here and there to kind of get a lighter color, a lighter shade. And these are very vibrant colors already and you might not want to do this if you really want to get some bright colors. So I'm going to start off with the yellow. I'm going to start off full strength near the edge of this wallet bag. So we're just going to start applying with our brush and I'm going to put it on kind of heavy here because I want to get it down in the cracks of my piece of alligator here so I get good color saturation. We'll go to about there and now I'm going to start mixing in a little bit of the white with it and see if I can get it to lighten up. And we're going to go all the way over, about a third of the way over on this wallet bag. It's really neat is how these colors mix. Now I've got a lot on there. Like I said, I'm using this very liberally. Now you can be much more sparing with this depending on what kind of effect you're going for. But we're going to try and mix some colors on the project, so I'm going to leave a good bit on there. So I'm going to switch over and uh, we're going to go to red here. We're going to do a little bit of red on the project in the middle. Just start coming across. I see you got a lot of white on there. So we're gonna get a little bit more of the full strength dye and darken it up. Grab a paper towel quick and wipe off some of the excess. Oh, it's coming out pink. Let's add a little bit more red in there. We'll get that to darken up. There's all kinds of tricks you can do with the three different products four different products were really the liquid dye, dye wax, cream wax, and paste wax. Each one of those products comes in each of the pigments. We'll move on to the blue. We'll do that on this edge over here. We'll start off full strength over here on the edge and then we'll kind of start to fade it as we get towards the red. Like I said I'm using a bunch so I can get down in the cracks and crevices. So that's pretty saturated with color. We got quite a bit on there. So now we're going to do a little bit of mixing of colors on the project, which is kind of what makes these unique. With regular dye, you start to kind of try and mix colors on the leather, and it goes south pretty quick. But this stuff is pretty unique and, and uh, variable. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of sponge here, and we're going to start mixing a little bit of the red and blue, mix a little bit of the red and yellow, and uh, kind of see where we go. Get a little bit of the full strength red here. I kind of start to see a nice orange color up here. Start to see some yellow. 
little bit of cracks and red on top. And one thing I found with this stuff is as you're going through your project, you start to think, wow, this is really starting to look like crap, you know? It's not turning out the way you want, but follow through on it. Just keep working on it, follow through on it until the end, and you might be surprised at kind of what turns out. It's pretty amazing what these products will do. And as you start to blend colors and get towards those fine lines, you want to use less and less of your pigment, you know? So I'm kind of trying to get some of the excess off here. Start to rub it in and start to get it to blend a little bit more. Not have such distinct lines. You start to see some of the just really cool effects that you could potentially do. People that are much more creative than me have done some just amazing stuff with this product. Luckily, I'm just here to give you a pretty basic tutorial and understanding of kind of how what you can do with these. You can see it's even already starting to shine up just as I rub it there. All right. So, I'd like to go ahead and maybe get a little bit of green on the edge over here and just continue our, continue our color scheme. Now, if I don't want to oversaturate it and I want, I just have a little bit of space to maybe blend a color, you want to, might want to use something like the cream wax. It's not going to saturate the leather nearly as fast. Uh, you're much, it's much more prone to shading and transitioning colors. And so again, I'll use a little piece of sponge like this and just use a, a tiny bit of the product. Really, I just get it on the sponge and then kind of dab it and get the excess off. You don't want real big clumps in there or anything like that. And kind of start to go along the edge. start to see a little bit of the green in the cracks there. If you want to get a little bit darker maybe, you could use some of the dye wax, get a little bit more contrast. Let's see if we can blend in that red just a little bit more. So I'll take some of the red over here to the blue. And kind of go towards the other side and see if that line can be a little less distinguished. And you kind of start to get a pretty neat effect so at this point, we've got a colored piece of leather. Looks like a rainbow. Awesome. We're gonna tip it, which means kind of just going over and hitting the high spots on the alligator skin with another color, say black. We're gonna kind of knock down some of that brightness a little bit, make it a little bit more subtle, and just have some highlights in the cracks. Now, since I wanna lay on a fair bit of color, I'm gonna use some of the dye wax again. that. I'll use another one of my little sponges here and get a little bit on the, a fair bit on it there. Again, we're going to take the excess off the best we can. All right, so as I do this, I'm, I'm not going to push down real hard at first because I know I've got plenty of product on the sponge. I'm just going to lightly start going across the tops and kind of see how it starts applying before I decide how much pressure to add and in what direction. So we kind of start going across the tops and seeing what it's going to lay down and kind of getting a feel for how it's going to act. It starts to give it a nice kind of antique look. darker on the edge. And 
Now, if you can, try to refrain from applying more product to the sponge. You can really get a lot out of just a little bit of this. Especially when you're just trying to do small highlights. And if you get a part where it lays down kind of a dark streak there, where you saw I kind of got the tip of the sponge a little bit harder on it, you can kind of blend that out. Well, now I've gone and done it. I flipped the sp sponge over and I got plenty on there. Just anywhere you want to add a little bit darker color, just kind of go back over and Rub it around, and you can get some pretty neat stuff. I think it's pretty neat, personally. And as you can see here in front of me, we've got lots of examples of other skins that we've done. Even just solid colors, you know, doing a solid blue and kind of fading it towards the bottom. Um, you know, it kind of gives it that own its own unique antique look. Just a solid red all the way across it. I believe this was using the cream wax. You can get very vibrant colors. If you were doing this with you know, a full strength leather dye, trying to go over the entire gator skin with a sponge, you're gonna end up with a dark, dark, dark red. Uh, browns even, brown, you can get some beautiful browns with this and they just, they buff to a high luster. Contrasting colors like this, you know, they can be a little bit more difficult, take a little bit more process. Uh, one thing that I've learned about this product is you really don't know exactly know what color you're gonna have until you let it dry for at least several hours. Um, browns will lighten up quite a bit. Uh, these colors, you'll see, we'll, we'll get another shot of it. We'll let it dry for a few hours. Um, buff it with a horsehair brush or a canvas cloth even uh, to a high gloss and these colors will, will dry much lighter and much more vibrant. But um, Well, we've let this piece set for a couple hours and all the dye should be dried to the point to where it's not gonna lighten up anymore. Um, it could, if you're doing, I've noticed the browns tend to take a little bit longer. If you go heavier on the dyes, obviously they'll take longer to dry. Uh, I've noticed a couple little white spots where I managed to not quite get enough dye in there and I'm just going to touch that up with a little detail brush real quick. Get that covered. Now, you can find all kinds of beautiful examples of what people would, people do with this dye online. Um, there's all kinds, of, you know, it, it acts like a paint in some regards. You can mix colors like paint. Um, it, it's got a thicker viscosity like a paint does. And so using it with these detail brushes and being able to do highlights between the cracks of like a gator skin or a snake skin, um, you know, there, there's just all kinds of effects you can achieve with this higher viscosity uh, dye wax and cream wax. Now, since it's it's dried and it's been sitting a while, um, you know I can still see some some pretty defined black lines through here where we went through and kind of highlighted it. So I'd like to smooth some of those lines out, you know, kind of blend them a little bit. And so that's where I've I've used the paste wax in the past. I've got the neutral paste wax here. And you'll see when I open it up here, it's neutral color, kind of like a looks kind of like a saddle soap or something. But I'm going to use that on a uh, canvas cloth and just try to get some of these lines blended in a little bit more. Since this is the same compound, it'll kind of help to lift. Some of that dye that was on there previously, some of that black and get some of those lines blended out. And you can see it is lifting some color back up. Now if we want to go a little bit heavier, we'll use maybe a sponge and get the excess off there. This will help blend those black lines that we laid down and blend the colors a little bit more and kind of smooth it out a little bit. All right, so we've kind of smoothed it out a little bit. Made it not quite so streaky as it was. Now it's time to go through and buff it. Now this works really well if you've got a finisher 
with a horse ha horsehair wheel on it. It works really well to buff it on that. Um, it'll really smooth out those lines even more, reduce some of the, the, the stroke marks on the top. I've got a horsehair brush here. We're just going to do it by hand and just kind of start. And you can see it glosses up very quickly. It is just amazing to me how well this stuff finishes out without any additional chemicals. It gives you really just a very professional finish. finished wallet back right there. We're going to go ahead and finish this out, make an interior for it, and we'll get a finished product fo photo for you. Like I said, a lot of people are doing a lot of different, a lot of different very neat things online with this, using detail brushes, using things like eyedroppers. This will help you get uh, exact ratios that you can replicate later on. Um, you can all, there's a lot of people doing uh, abstract art with this, um, splatter painting finger painting, all kinds of stuff on leather. It's beautiful. It finishes out nicely. Um, yeah, lots of experimenting to be done. Lots of creativity involved. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe it if you got anything out of it. And uh, there'll be more to come.